Welcome back to my Final Fantasy XIV drama series. Today's drama story is about Lambo Lala. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. All right, this story is juicy, okay? I'm, I'm gonna give you a warning now. Like, when I read this story, I was like, oh, this is good. I'm gonna save this for the end. Chef's kiss. Let me get my wine. Yeah, gra grab your drinks, your snacks. Prepare for this one. All right, let's begin. This story is about a Lollafell dude who joined our FC. We will call him Lambo. His character's name was Lambo Lala. This guy made my spidey senses go up immediately because he seemed over the top and shared way too much which is why I sort of viewed him as kind of a joke. I know that sounds mean, but wait till you hear this story from what I saw and experienced. Anyway, as soon as Lambo Lala joined the FC I was part of, he was active in the FC chat, and he was always pushing the envelope with his comments that I felt were borderline inappropriate. He was trying to act or be all alpha male and would talk about his female conquests and how he was dating some 20 year old. He managed to get our FC leader's attention in chat. Let's call the FC leader Bird. And Lambo would say, Hey Bird, look in Discord. I posted a picture of her. Of course, all the guys in the FC who were online at the time would go running to the Discord to see who Lambo claimed he was banging. Lambo had posted a picture of some attractive young woman with long silky hair wearing just a flannel lumberjack shirt leaning against a truck. Who knows if this shit was real, but all the guys in my FC seemed to be buying it. Lambo would then say stuff like, She's 20 and a half Cherokee. And I know I'm so bad, huh? <laughs> oh my God, I'd be dying if I heard someone talk like this. <laughs> Stock image. Oh my God, I can't. If I was playing Final Fantasy 14 while Lambo talked in the FC chat, I would let this boy talk go on for a couple of minutes and then start giving him some shit back. I wasn't too happy about the FC chat turning into some guy's locker room bullshit. Bird, the FC master, backed me up and we told Lambo he had to tone it down for the FC chat. He told Lambo to try to chill with the bragging about banging hot chicks and posting their pictures which Lambo probably did without their knowledge or permission. Oh my goodness. I was kind of shocked with the lack of privacy this guy had. He posted pictures in his Discord of himself and the cats that he rescued, which if he did rescue cats, then good on him. But I wasn't going to be so believing after the things I've seen him say. So this could just be another brag or a way to make him look good once again. He showed pictures of his house, and some of these house pictures had drug paraphernalia in the background, like bongs, water pipes, or something. He was an average short guy, maybe 5'6", five, 5'7", five, with glasses, and I know this because he also showed pictures of himself, or his new shoes, or him standing by his Mercedes Benz. Almost felt like Tinder photos of let's show everyone my car, my drugs, my house, and I. Even though you can't actually show drugs on Tinder, he was just definitely trying to show off what he thought was his luxurious life. Oh my god, if there was someone like this in the, in the FC's Discord or even the FC chat, I would cringe so hard. Lambo started to talk about drugs all the time some in discord but a lot in the fc chat this was not like smoking weed or even just a few comments but multiple paragraphs about hard drug use 
Yeah, like dipping joints in formaldehyde and shooting heroin and coke speedballs. Can you imagine that? So I thought this is totally not appropriate for an FC chat. So some members again talk to Lambo about not talking about drugs and hard drug usage in the FC chat. It was quite insensitive of him since you never know who your FC members are and they might be offended or triggered. I know I was surely triggered by his unending barrage of FC chat spam about dangerous and self-destructive behavior. Lambo would send me private messages sometimes. Some were whispers and some were in discord. He'd ask me, how are you doing? Like some conversation starters here and there. He seemed like a nice and caring person, even though he was obviously a little out there with other people's personal boundaries. And I don't think he had any personal boundaries at all. Lambo would play sporadically. We wouldn't see him for a long time. And then he would pop on and dominate the FC chat talking to himself. This was a pattern slash behavior that will become relevant later. He would write chunky paragraphs and no one would respond to him in the FC chat. If I was online, I was usually either dumbfounded or rolling my eyes thinking, what on earth this guy? Lambo then would write another paragraph just like before. No one in the FC chat would respond, but that didn't stop him. He kept going on and on till it was almost like an essay. He would also use the F word or an outburst of cursing and then apologize after in text, which was an odd habit. Like why not just not type it at all? You didn't have to hit enter, LOL. I assumed he was like whacked out on coke <laughs> and using the game to just blabber at people. Usually, he would get to some point where he was crossing the line with either talking about drugs or talking about banging some young chick, or then it began to be talking about playing the market board. So Lambo's probably favorite thing to do in Final Fantasy XIV was to buy up stuff that was going for 10 million gil and then sell it for 20 million gil, stuff like that. He amassed a large amount of gil and would shower all the FC members with expensive gifts from the market board, like Cassie earrings or the Nightmare Pegasus, as well as giving brand new FC members 5 million the minute he met them. Oh my God, it was like Oprah. You get, you get 5 million, you get 5 million. I am ashamed to say that even though the guy really kind of freaked me out, I still accepted his gifts. It wasn't like, he was giving me a gift to try to and get anything from me. He was just generously throwing them out there, trying to be all great Gatsby-like, so we ate it all up. Mm, he wanted to be liked by everyone, it seems. Winning them with, with stuff. All of a sudden, one day, Lambo became ill. He told us that he apparently was having aggressive treatment for his illness, and when he would come online, he would say how the doctors had misdiagnosed him and subjected him to experimental surgery. And this and that about how he was going to win a lawsuit that would get him enough real life money to take care of his loved ones when he was gone. Again, now he was talking on and on to himself while all of us were just kind of speechless as usual about his terminal illness and impending death in the FC chat. He talked lawsuits and marriage. He told us all that he was marrying his lifelong love, Rebecca, who was a very beautiful deaf woman. He said he was happy, but his posts were also really morbid. He kept saying how he didn't have much longer to live, but that he was going to have a lot of money from his lawsuit against the doctors. Around this time, he sent me a DM saying he had found a character in another game that reminded him of me and he wanted to show me and he attached a photo. The photo he sent me was of him sitting at a glass table with about six huge lines of coke laid out in front of him and he was holding a straw in his nose 
and looking like he was about to snort one. I was like, what the fuck? It was shocking and absurd. Then he says, oh, whoops, wrong picture. But he didn't delete the picture. He just went on with the conversation. So weird. So now it is going to get really strange as if it wasn't already. He logs on one night. We all say in the FC chat, hi, Lambo. Hey, Lambo. Hi, Lambo. Haven't seen you in a while. And then Lambo's response is, oh, hi. Um, wow. Okay. Um, I took screenshots of this whole part so I can tell you exactly how it went. For me, it was strange that Lambo spoke like he was RPing or something. I mean, who types um, especially with what they were about to say next. This isn't Lambo. Now I'm thinking, what the hell? But no one in the FC chat says anything. As usual, when Lambo would say something weird. And so, this mysterious person who is using Lambo's character proceeds to go on. This is Robert. I'm thinking, what? Robert? Who is that? Lambo Lala passed away in his sleep this morning at about 5.20 a.m. I was asked to tell a couple of people this, sadly. I found out he was sick just days ago. Yes, this Robert guy used Lambo's character for this very unusual announcement. No one says anything. We were in a map dungeon at the time, having fun. Then this just dropped a big bomb right into the FC chat. And it was just so fucking weird. Other than that, I am truly sorry. It has yet to hit me. He was probably one of my best friends. Other than that, I do not have his cellular phone nor his Discord. I can shoot an email if anyone would like funeral information. Wait, hold up. So this Robert guy can log into Lambo's FF14 account, but you don't have his cell phone and he's one of your best friends? All of us stumble over our words and say we are sorry for Robert's loss as we are kind of reeling from this. Then Robert, Robert says, well, from what I gathered, he should not have gone through this experimental bullshit. That is just my opinion. I am rather pissed off. I just was told days ago he was fucking sick. Excuse my language. I apologize. I wish this was some very, very sick joke. I really do. Wait, why type out curse words and then apologize? Why not just not type it? Nothing makes sense, but wait, who else types out curse words and then apologizes after? Our very own Lambo. No one says anything for a bit, then this so-called Robert guy on Lambo's character speaks again. But at this point, I'm thinking, it's just like Lambo. I do not have time to hang out. I am truly sorry. I need to go. I can give some information Tuesday. I'm pretty sure you folks did not know this, but he was pretty much rich. He brought me into the same business so I can attest to this. Anyone that would like to attend his funeral, it will be on Zoom because he is well known in the state of blank. It will be packed. If you would like to attend in person, his wife will cover all costs. I'm not sure how tight you all were. Pause. No one says anything. I know he does have some friends that he is very tight with and I have already told them. Thank you for not screaming at me. I guess people handle things differently. One of my FC mates says, hold on, let me get out of this duty and I'll give you my email. And I'm thinking, no, don't do that. This is too weird. Why doesn't he think it's weird too? Who on earth, when they die, has someone log into their Final Fantasy account the same day they die to tell their FC? Lambo didn't even play that often. So I was just really suspicious. It was about here that I started to think this was some deep joke or scam, maybe to get people's emails or attention. I didn't know, but it was sus. 
super sus. I need to log off this and go start preparations, etc. Funny story. I met him at church and he baptized me. Not the individual I would expect for that venture. I wish you all got to know him deeply. He was actually a very interesting and amazing man. Sadly, he was very self-hating. One of the most generous people I have ever known. He did what he needed to in his life. This I know. It's so surreal. As this is happening, we are in the middle of a map dungeon. On our screens at the time, it said second chamber opens. Just to give you an idea of how weird this was for us FC members in game. It was odd Robert questioned the thank you for not screaming at me. Guess people handle things differently. Like he expected us to type out testimonials or be screaming things like no not Lambo in chat right after the news he just told us. I was there thinking someone better go lock up the company chest. <laughs> but I seemed like the only one who didn't completely believe that Lambo was dead, while most of the other FC members probably believed it. About a week later, Lambo's Discord account was taken over by his wife, Rebecca. She didn't make a new Discord, but just changed the name on his old one, which was weird. She was deaf, so she never came into the Discord voice. A couple of times she did say she was going to, but if anyone heard her speak, I was not aware of it. She posted a few pictures of herself, which looked like she was an Instagram model, highly filtered of a thin, blonde girl striking glamour poses. Then she posted a picture of her and Lambo, except that they were on a ski lift. And the person in the picture who was supposed to be Lambo was wearing ski goggles. I'm like, guys, can't you see that this could so totally not be a picture of him? But no one seemed to agree that it was suspicious. I, on the other hand, was obsessed with finding clues to prove my theory that Lambo was faking his own death or these were all just made up characters in a deep lie for some unknown reason. I looked up his search info from in-game and on Discord, since his character was still in-game as Lambo Lala. I tried to Google image search to see if the pictures traced back to anything, and I couldn't find anything. But when I googled his name, it turns out there's a big mafia family with that name in the state of blank. Could the person behind Lambo be pretending to be characters from this IRL mafia? What happened next was his deaf wife Rebecca took over his Final Fantasy XIV account. I guess she had the passwords to his account? Anyway, she starts playing the game and changes Lambo's character's name and buys a large house by winning it in the lottery. In the FC chat, she says she bought the house and I ask if I can come over to see it because I'm still very much curious. She then says in the FC chat, I have a stalker. I'm going to lock the front door of my house, okay? No one responds in the FC chat. Anyway, take note of how Rebecca says should of instead of should have. Rebecca says, if Bird could of punched the guy, I fear he would have yesterday. Someone in chat asks, IRL or in game? Rebecca says, in game, it would be a really bad idea if someone did IRL. I'm married into a very scary family. I'm noticing the phrasing of words and the way she speaks. She says, should of and could of instead of should have or could have. And it's driving me crazy, lol. It's wild to me how it's similar to how Robert and Lambo spoke because they also did the same thing. How do three people all have this bad grammar of the same words? Rebecca expressed how Lambo told her details of his gaming life and how much he wanted a large house, AKA a mansion. Just weird. I don't usually talk to my family about Final Fantasy XIV and about how I want specific things in the game, but I guess apparently Lambo did. 
Also, I don't give my family my login information, but maybe other people do. I don't know. So I'm inside Rebecca's large house with the door locked. Of course, I could leave, but I stayed there to enjoy the weirdness and snoop around. I felt like a detective at this point since I was analyzing everything. I asked her how she knew how to play Final Fantasy XIV now since she had never been on before. She said that she had played all sorts of other Final Fantasy games, but that she never played XIV because she was busy with her career. I was impressed with how she knew how to place furniture in her house and which ones she chose. And I found it odd that she knew so much about the game since she only just started playing a few days prior. Yeah, all the Final Fantasy games are so different from each other. Like just because you played one Final Fantasy 14, like one Final Fantasy game doesn't mean you know how to play the others. Like Final Fantasy 14 is different. She goes on to describe to me how she was bullied in school, how they called her a uh, fat R word and how she was 220 pounds till 10th grade and how kids are evil and cruel and how this shaped her life into becoming a personal trainer and all this without me responding at all. She just goes on and on talking about herself, creating a backstory perhaps. And then she says, funny thing, Lambo was the only guy I liked sexually. This was so suspicious to me. Like, this is exactly how a guy like Lambo, a short average dude, would hope his wife would talk about him once he passed away. Don't be weirded out, please. I'm kind of mainly into women. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, she's mainly into women. The only guy she ever was sexually attracted to was Lambo Lala. Uh-huh, right. Also, I noticed that she said, funny thing, period, just like that. And the guy Robert said the same thing, but he said, funny story, period. So me, the detective, I think that these two people are the same person and maybe they are all still Lambo. She goes on to say, I had a bad run with men, not going to say too much other than that. Other than that, didn't that guy Robert also use that phrase? Other than that, he did because I have the screenshots. Okay, I know that a lot of people use that phrase, but I was seeing patterns, a few patterns at this point between all three characters, Lambo, Robert, and now Rebecca. She goes on to say more chunky paragraphs using the words would of instead of would have. And I continue reading without responding. She begins to tell me about Lambo's back story. He was dealt a horrible hand, not the cancer, but that evil family he was born into, both him, his brother, and his sisters. His dad was not his real dad. For your information, it's a long story. Lambo put his father in prison. His father ran the mob in blank name of the city. All the strip clubs were owned by his father, etc. Lambo hated him and his family. That's why his brother got the hell out of there when he hit college. What is this? The Sopranos Final Fantasy XIV edition? The Lala father? <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Rebecca keeps going on. The wrong man got the wrong card in the deck in my opinion, and I'm mad at whoever is out there, God or whatever. At least he wasn't a total product of his environment though. I love that about him. He was a good man. I wish you all got to know the real him. Hopefully you did. Yeah, he said a couple women put him in place. You seem like you could be one of them. He had a lot of respect for the ones who did, by the way. I have literally barely said two words to this person. So this again was really odd that she would say this to. And she keeps going on and on without me responding. All this in say chat while I'm locked in her house alone with her. His cancer never got better. I'm sorry he was lying to you. He didn't want anyone to feel sorry or bad for him. He fought really hard though. 
Like, it was amazing the amount of bullshit he dealt with. I still believe his father did something, or someone in that group, like, poisoned him. I know, a total conspiracy. He mentioned once that it may be a possibility one day. Wait, what? Now she's implying that Lambo was murdered by the mob? Yikes. Rebecca continues. I'm glad they are all gone though. His father and all. God, I can't believe I ranted for quite some time. Sorry about that. So, what do you do? Tell me about yourself, please. I tell her, we are going into Ensinger. We will talk later, okay? I'm sorry. Rebecca says right before I leave, I saw your picture on Discord. You're really pretty. Okay, I'm out of here and I teleport out of the house. <laughs> I can't like I can't believe this is like actually happening what? or this happened in the house. I couldn't stop thinking about the similar speech patterns, the cursing, then apologizing, the non-stop talking while not waiting for anyone's reply, the use of funny story followed by a full stop, and then to go rant about something no one cares about and constantly talking about themselves was oddly similar. The romanticizing of Lambo's life, talking about how he was such an amazing man, how they wished that we had all known the real person that was, the recanting of details that seemed grandiose, like him being in a mafia family and mysteriously falling ill and dying. And then the weirdest part, logging on to his account to inform people in the game many of whom had no idea who he was at all and didn't care to of his death not to mention that robert and rebecca both seemed to be able to log into the game and know how to type in the fc chat how to play the game and put furniture in a house it was all so odd it had been a few months now since i heard a peep from any of his accounts and from my knowledge, no one in our FC went to the funeral Zoom call. So I will ask you the question after hearing this story. Did Lambo Lala really exist and then pass away? Did he really have experimental surgery, bang a lot of young chicks, marry a deaf model looking girl, and was part of a mafia family that could have possibly murdered him? Or was Lambo, Robert, and Rebecca all made up characters in one man's effort to gain attention online from randoms in a Final Fantasy XIV chat? I'll let you guys decide. The end. <laughs> I can't. It's so funny and strange. Find out next time on The Lala Father. <laughs> All right, now you can see why Lambo the Lala is probably going to be up there for people talking about, oh, Lambo the Lala, Jay, and everyone. They're all like main characters from our drama series now. No, I'm Robert. Seems legit. It's true. All of it. Who would lie on the internet? So it has to be true. I'm out of breath here. Jeez. I like his name Lambo. Lambo Lala. Like it just fits his character like Lamborghini. Oh my god, I need a drink after that. BRB making an a Lala alt named Lambo. <laughs> Imagine, like, we just start seeing Lambo Lala around, like, in the world. Hey, you know what? If Lambo Lala ever... If Lambo Lala ever sees this story on YouTube, he'll be like... Yes. Yes! He'd be feeling himself so much. Funny story. Period. <laughs> I kind of want to scroll back up and read everything that you guys said. Opie is actually Lambo. We've played into his game. This dude has lost it. Finally, Baptist Lala. It's very suspicious. I don't have his Discord or phone number, but I have his Final Fantasy XIV password, LMAO. Better log in and tell strangers he passed away and brag. Glad OP has a good head on their shoulders. I can't believe so many people believed it. Okay, OP said that a lot of people in the FC like believed it, but I'm definitely sure there's at least some people in the FC who was on the same uh, wavelength as her. Lambo is my new Harambe. <laughs> Wife seems fake too. I, I, you wanna know what I think? I think they're all just 
one guy who is trying to get attention. Yes. And I think the reason for the wife becoming that Discord account, because like nobody actually like uses the same. No two people use one Discord account, right? That's just so weird. And the reason why the wife took over is because he was waiting for people to like message the wife to see like, who liked me? How much of an impact did I make in this FC? He was waiting for those messages. People to, to like spill some nice messages to his wife that he could read. I think like this guy is crazy and he was doing some wild ass social experiment with Final Fantasy 14 people. And I can't believe we've encountered a story like this. Chat, have you experienced anyone like even remotely close to this? In the game? I'm rolling. <laughs> Mafia playing Final Fantasy 14. If my husband died, I would never change his character. Oh yeah, that's true. Gonna be like, keep it there for sentimental purposes. I like how we all know these characters are fake, but Patches still reads them in different voices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was feeling it. My dying wish is a large house in the lavender beds. <laughs> <laughs> the layers i'm cringing so hard i don't think it was a kid someone said kids are evil but i i think this was a grown man like playing different characters i hope someone out like once the story gets put up i hope someone from that fc is out there and is like oh my god i know i was there i was there we were his guinea pig all along we're an experiment. I knew a guy like this from the gym, always bragging about the loads of married women he keeps sleeping with. <laughs> They're out there. There's people just like this. IRL in video games, so it's interesting to see it. Never encountered anyone like this, thankfully. They really need help. The voice acting was awesome. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Could he maybe have multi-personality disorder? Maybe. I'm telling you, plot twist, Opie made up the full story and Lambo doesn't exist. No, that's the crazy part of it all, guys. Okay, I literally also thought the same thing. Like, this has to be fake. This has to be fake. Guess what? They showed me screenshots and obviously I'm not gonna, like, put that on my... I never put screenshots or anything like that. But there was screenshots. This guy is was real. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, this person was actually in your FC chat and Discord saying these things. Plot twist, Patra is Lambo. She didn't want to put the state though, because she told me secretly she's actually scared for her safety because this person might be crazy. So she, she didn't put down the state. It's like once his attempts at impressing people with how hard he is failed, he kept escalating the lies. True, I, that, is, that is a pattern that you also see in the story. Like, let's go, let's go in more. I'm trying to, he's, he was trying so hard to get a reaction, it seems. Cause like, he was like, why aren't people talking? Hello? Lambo died, people! Where's the emotion? <laughs> he needs to be like a director. Lights, cameras, actions. Go, people. But he wanted to be the star. Yeah, he wanted to be the star. Oh my god. It's like, Tommy... Why Zhao? Yeah, yeah. Create like this whole story and he's like, I'm going to be the main character. <laughs> People will love me. Oh, hi, Lambo. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. What a story. Yeah, it was fun. This is what happens when you don't get enough attention as a child and then keep that personality trait as an adult. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about Lambo Lala. If you have any of your own drama stories that you'd like me to share and read out anonymously, feel free to reach out to my Discord, discord.gg Patra. And a big thank you to my kind members who support my YouTube content.